A little different energy out of practice today. It's game week. I mean, what, what's the excitement level right now knowing you've got a game in a few days? Yeah, I think we're all excited. Um, I mean, you train and practice all year round for the season, you know, for 12 opportunities. And um, it's the first one, so we're super excited. So your fourth year as a starter. Mm -hmm. What's different preparing for a first game when you don't have the film for the week before versus, say, another game when you've got one or maybe more games to look at? Yeah, you know, I think... Uh, you know, I think it def definitely depends on the situation with the other program, what's going on uh, with, with the coaching changes there, or, you know, if there was one, if there had been a long-tenured guy there. Uh, but I think you kind of install your base stuff, and, and, and you got to prepare for a bunch of different things. So I think that's what we're trying to do. Is it harder than a game later in the season? Um, I don't I don't know. Like like Jail was kind of saying, we just kind of prepare, you know, take one day at a time, and... and uh, if we execute, you know, our stuff, our scheme, you know, we should be all right. What does it mean to not have George Milani on a pitch count this year? Uh, I mean, it means a lot of great things. I mean, uh, he's a baller. You know, I love George. We've, we've known each other for a long time now. And uh, he is special. You know, you guys all see it. Every time he, he's out there, every time you guys ask me about him, I say, you know, same kind of thing. He's special, so. What is it about just his, his presence? I mean, we know what he can do after the ball and yeah. stuff like that, but Around. He's, not, he's not a loud guy. Obviously. He's not, no. I mean, once you get to know him, you know, he's kind of annoying. But uh, he's, uh, I think that there's just a confidence that he's going to get yards and you're never going to be in a negative situation. So I think that it puts a lot of confidence in, in uh, the offense and in the team. Andy was talking about when Latrell first got here, mm -hmm. the guy might have said like one word to him in like the first couple months. How have you seen him, just his personality grow and, yeah. and that lead to better success? Yeah, well, just getting to know him. I mean, he's a great young man, and uh, he's a great person. And when he does make plays, he's a confident guy. And uh, just to see him grow and, and, and mature, uh, I think this is his third year, and, yeah. and it's just been awesome to see. He's a great talent and a great person. Hank, how has it uh, revealed to you that you, you get to spend a little time with Russell Wilson this summer? Um, Man, that was uh, that was kind of changing in a in a you know for a perspective for me just uh, the way he approaches a game and and when he walked in uh, to speak to us he just kind of took the air out of the room and and uh, just the way he carried himself uh, the way he spoke to himself uh, what he does on a daily basis it really uh, inspired me and I'm I'm very inspired by him and. Uh, I've always, you know, he's always been a huge role model for me, but just to be able to have that opportunity to just listen to him and, and uh, hang out with him for a sec was, was great. Is, is, there, is there anything that you took from that and, like, you, you applied? Is there maybe an, an example of something that you might do differently or anything like that? Yeah, I think uh, externally what you let yourself kind of consume, you control your narrative uh, internally, and uh, he is very, very uh, selective in what he lets himself kind of listen to, um, hear, and what he tells himself. Um, he's, you know, he's very into that, and uh, that was huge for me, so, yeah. Was it, was it a text message? That, I mean, like, how, how did you know that he was in town that you'd get to speak to him? Did you walk uh, him was it was kind of like a, I think, uh, I don't know if you guys know Lou. Uh, Lou was, uh, I think there was an event going on with Alaska Airlines or something, and, uh, they just asked if the quarterbacks could help out or something like a few days before. So uh, kind of caught me off guard, and he was like, hey, would you want to help Russell Wilson out? And I said, heck yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was, it was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Coaches have talked a lot about this offseason about your approach to the game, mental approach to the game. Mm -hmm. they, said, they use the word over and over, simplify, focus, mm -hmm. and just really dial in. How much different has the mental approach been for you this season? And you do seem a little different. I mean, in, yeah. these, in these press conferences, you're a lot more methodical, you're a lot uh -huh. more quiet, you seem like you're a lot more serious. How, yeah. Have you changed mentally in terms of... Uh, I mean, I still like to have fun, but uh, I mean, I, like I said, I think uh, I'm trying to work on those things that I just spoke about with Russ, and uh, I think that it's really helped. You know, I control a lot of... There's a lot of things I can't control. There's a lot of things that are said that are outside of my, you know, my uh, myself, and uh, it shouldn't have an effect on me, and... Um, you know, Russell was huge on that, and, you know, I can control the way I prepare. I can control simplifying my progressions and, and what I need to focus on on the field and, and even off the field, you know. Um, 
all these different things you got to go to or do these things. You know, I think it's just important to focus on, you know, the things you want. Your life has to kind of, your goals have to orient towards towards that. So. Has it paid off the way you want? Do you feel more prepared today than you've ever been? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think I'm preparing the best I ever have. What do you think that means for the season? What would be your expectations <laughs> well, for the season? I mean, my expectations are to win. Just you know, that's our that's our team's goal is to win. Um, but like JL said, you know, we're taking it one day at a time, and that's the way that I'm preparing is one day at a time. What what do I need to do to execute this play and this rep? I guess starting the season on the road, what kind of energy do you have to take in where it's like different from a home game, but just starting the season, you're not going into friendly territory. How yeah. do you approach that? I guess. Uh, I guess I've, we've kind of done that you know, every year I've been here, and then the COVID year. Um, so I think uh, we do a great job of preparing. I think that uh, you know Boise State has a great tradition of going to, on the road and playing people, and uh, I think Coach Avalos obviously has great experience doing it. So for us, he, he's got some strategies up his sleeve that have been helping us, and uh, we're excited. Like I said, one day at a time, one rep at a time, and yeah, we've been doing a good job. You heard from Coach Avalos in the second scrimmage. There's a lot of explosive passing plays. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously been a big storyline, the wide receivers this year. I mean, what, what did you see this camp, and, and is that group ready to, to step up to the challenge? Yeah, I think it's uh, – I think it's – there's going to be a lot of guys that you, you know, have, have kind of been on the cusp uh, of, of being really, really good. Um, I think it's – there's a lot of guys going to contribute that are going to be making explosive plays and, and being very solid and reliable guys for us. What, is, what does it take to – I think a lot of those things that you just said, um, yeah, I mean, you got to have good protection. Um, you got to be able to win the one on one balls. You got to be able to, you know, give them a chance on a ball. Uh, you got to be on the same page. And guys have to win at the end of the day. Um, but it takes uh, from, from a, a 11 uh, person unit, it's going to take the protection, being on the same page there. It's going to take your guys winning on the outside. It's going to take a good ball from the quarterback. You've got so much confidence just throwing it up for Khalil at times. It's not mm -hmm. just throwing it up for Khalil at times, but you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, who, who, who is that guy this year? Or is that something that you just have to get into a game and you, you figure it out? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. Like I said, I think that there's a, a number of guys that are right there that I think we're going to be able to see on, on Saturday who, who's going to be that guy. And, uh, you know, I kind of am getting a – idea of who it is, but uh, like I said, there's a lot of guys right there, so I'm curious to see who's going to take that step. We heard, we heard Talon won the backup job. Mm -hmm. Where did you see him make improvements this camp? Yeah, he's made, he made tremendous strides um, just in his decision making and his ability to be a quarterback. Obviously, the athleticism is there, um, but his ability to control the line of scrimmage, whether that be changing the protection, making just even communicate, you know, he's kind of a a quiet, uh, you know, a little bit more quiet guy. Um, so for him to be able to communicate, and he still needs to be working on that, but um, his ability to just be a quarterback and, and, and do those kind of things, you know, we put a lot on the quarterback, and uh, his decision making was huge, uh, being able to just get to his next progression, change a play when he needs to. Um, that's where I saw the most growth from him. Well, you, got thrown right into the fire in your, you got thrown right into the fire in your first start at Florida State. Yeah. Uh, how, how often do you still think back on that game, and what do you remember about it? Um, you know, I haven't thought about it uh, in a while, but uh, I think, you know, just when you kind of go out there and, and you're kind of green to an area, uh, you just go out there and you go play and you go focus on a few things. You simplify. And, uh, you know, I think that that's something I'm trying to get back to here this year. So, How has Sam Vidlak been a resource for you this week considering – he knows the Corvallis situation so well. Have you leaned on him at all in scouting reports and whatnot? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think we have. Um, I really haven't, you know, talked to him too much about it. Um, just trying to focus on our game plan and, and what we can do. You know, I, I'm sure that they got, you know, some curveballs coming. So you, you said you want, you said you wanted to win. Obviously, I mean, you just think about your four years here, and who knows what the future holds. But how badly do you want this season to be? Your best season, the team's best season. I mean, just there's, you know, obviously we've talked a lot about the legacy and all that at quarterbacks yeah. here, but just in general, big picture, what's this season mean to you? And, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, I want to have a good year. Um, I think everybody wants to have a good year on this team. So, for me, yeah, I want to. I want to go out there. I want to win. I want to play good. I want us to 
to win a lot of games, and I want us to play well. Um, and I want us to win a championship. So I, I think that's everybody's goal. Um, yeah. I know the timing's not right the first week, but I don't think we've ever asked you this question. Do you dream of the NFL? Yeah, I think, uh, I think if you're at this level, um, I think that is something that you dream about. I mean, that's something I've dreamed about. You know, I still remember running around the front yard pretending, you know, playing in the NFL. So it's always been a dream of mine. Um, I think it's a lot of guys' dreams, so. Great, great, great Hedrick, uh, last quarterback to lead this team to the Fiesta Bowl. Mm -hmm. He kind of he lives over in the area where you're going to be playing. Have you, have you ever talked much with him? And, and what, what do you, is there any type of part of his legacy that you guys discuss at all? Uh, you know, I've only talked to him uh, once, and he's a very uh, laid-back, quiet guy. Um, but I think that it just helped him. Uh, and you see in the way he played just with his ability to not uh, react in a harsh way and just kind of, you know, whatever came to him, just kind of he just was in a great flow state and was able to make things happen. But uh, I've only talked to him once, talked to him for a while, a couple years ago. Uh, he was a great guy. Um, but I've been able to talk to you know a few quarterbacks. Um, obviously, I probably have the best relationship with Brett. Uh, he's been a great resource for me throughout my years, and uh, you know all those guys have been great. So 